Okay, so yesterday I went up to uh, John Deere and I picked up the parts to put this 4450 back together. Now I'm pulling my knife out, that's why I'm making funny faces. But anyway, I got this thing duct taped up. I did check to make sure that these parts were in here. Now, it took me so long to get the ring and pinion gear because they were in Glasgow. Not Glasgow in anywhere in the United States, but Glasgow, Scotland. Um, apparently, John Deere makes these things here in the U.S. of A., which is really quite nice, and I'm going to open that up for you. And there, there it is. Now, it's wrapped in some kind of a grease paper or cosmoline, but that's just grease. Um, yeah, there it is. That's the ring gear. Very nice. Thank you very much. Yep, 3,000x number of million dollars to purchase that thing. And then, of course, you got this. Now, this, this thing, I think, has been wrapped up for a lot of years. Um, I don't know. But uh, here's the pinion gear. Uh, there it is. So, yeah. Now, not only did it come with the ring and the pinion. Well, it didn't come with it. I bought it. But the ring and the pinion gear. There was also some other parts. Now, I'm getting a lot of... Uh, a lot of chatter online about the hex shaft that drives the primary pump to the uh, hydraulic pump. Um, yeah, I understand your concern. I actually had one of these pumps go bad and strip that shaft in the 4430. Uh, so, I'm going to show you my hex shaft. I pulled it out and I had it in a spot so it wouldn't get damaged. Now, there's where it engages the pump so it's not bad there's just and actually on film it looks like there's more wear than there actually is there but anyway there it is this is where it engages the back of the flywheel and the engine so that's okay as a matter of fact that that actually does have some wear to it um, not too god awful bad um, you don't have to uh, yeah, you don't you don't actually have to put this thing in before you you uh, uh, put the tractor back together. There's a plug in the back of the tractor, and then you can slide that shaft in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this tractor all back together. Then I'm going to slide that shaft up through the hole and engage it into the uh, into the back of the engine in the, on the crankshaft. Now, just got a comment like 35 seconds ago stating that this shaft supplies oil to the transmission. Well, that's a solid shaft. It does not supply oil to the pinion gear. This thing does. This little guy right here, this is brand new. And what this does is it comes out of the pump and goes right into the center of that pinion shaft. Um, the pinion shaft is, I think it goes into the center of the pinion shaft, yeah, right here. Is it pinion shaft? No, it goes into the top shaft, not the pinion shaft. Into the top, into the top shaft. So that thing actually sits down here somehow. I don't even remember how. But anyways, it goes in there and that supplies oil to the top shaft. And I have a brand new one. So, no, you're wrong. The octagon shaft or the hex shaft, hexagon? Six sides, hex. Um, it does not supply oil. Well, let's say two, four. Two, four, six. Yeah, that's six. It's a hex gun. Um, yeah, that does not supply oil to the top shaft. This little tube here does. So, I hope I put that debate to rest. Now, I also got some uh, 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 clip clips to put the, uh, uh, yeah, C-clips to put the uh, gears back onto the uh, pinion shaft when I pull that out of there. Um, I'm planning on doing that tomorrow. I'm going to start putting this bad boy back together. So the 4450 is now going to go into resurrection phase. So uh, stay tuned. Uh, yeah, stay tuned. It's uh, all good, you know. We'll be putting this bad boy back together and I'll be happy and it'll be happy and we'll all be happy and what do you know? We'll have the 4450 back in business. So, yeah. Anyways, I got a lot going on. I'm a little tired because I was up late last night. But, uh, whew. Yeah, this is such a mess. I mean, how many people can, 
how many general farmers can just tear something like this apart and I don't lose any sleep over this either I mean it doesn't bother me to do stuff like this um, some people I've already had guys in the shop here and they're like oh my god are you, are you gonna be able to put that back together I mean everybody that's been in here are you gonna put that back together well who the hell else is gonna put it back together of course I'm gonna put it back together you know, I mean, I got a lot of work to do to it before I go that, you know, get it actually back together. And I know how I'm going to put it back together. I am not going to put the wheels on. I'm going to actually take the transmission and I'm going to stick it back on there. And I'm going to block it up from the back side. And then I'm going to get the skid steer under there and carry the wheels over to it and put them on. So, yeah, I'm going to put it back together. Uh, but anyways, with that being said, thanks for watching.